We are left with these functions, these five functions. So let's create a new action and we call this action with, uh, as the function name is strchr. Okay? str, str, chr underscore and then whatever the next function is, we'll rename the column. So here this function strchr, what it does is it will find the first occurrence of a character that you provide. Okay, so let's get to the help of this function. Okay, this is it returns the pointer to the first occurrence of a character in a string. So whatever the string is, this is the string, some constant string, and this is the first occurrence of the character. Okay, C is the character here. So let's implement some examples. So I'll have to create some variables, some string variables here, char. and say string 1 and I would initialize this as say lows and highs. Okay, lows and highs and when I call this function chr, first thing is I have to provide the first argument is a string, string 1 that I have defined above and the second argument is what character, See what character I want to uh, find, what current, what uh, I want to get the occurrence of first case. Which character I want to get the first occurrence of? Say I want to get the first occurrence of high H. Okay, so this is it. But if you notice, the prototype of the function says it returns the pointer to the first occurrence. So I am supposed to capture the return from this function as a pointer to as a pointer variable. So I say character pointer i. Okay, so now I simply can evaluate, I can put it inside this function and I'll have to do typecasting. Okay, because this is the kind, whatever is the result, I want to typecast into pointer, character pointer type and put it into variable i. Okay, so Let's evaluate, let's print this value. Message and then percentage s and then i. Okay. Well, let me run this program. So I'll have to scroll down to see what this action shows. It says string character dot c. It says highs. Okay. So what it has done is it has given me the string, the entire string after this character high. So it has found the first occurrence of this character h is is in this word hi which is part of the string 1 okay so this way you can get to the first occurrence of a certain character using str chr function okay so let's see the next function the next next function is str lwr str upr okay these two functions, str, upr, will convert a given string into uppercase and str, lwr will convert the same uh, uppercase string into lowercase. Okay, so let's see how we do this. I can say str, upr, and then you can see from the prototype it expects a string over here. So I can simply use the same string as above. String 1 and done. 
but how do I know what it has converted into? So I need to print LR output message percentage the width. The uppercase string is percentage s and the name of the variable that contains string is string 1. So it is going to write, overwrite the string, overwrite the string that you pass in str upper 1, uh, sorry str upper function, str 1 is going to be overwritten, okay. So let us run this program. And see, it has printed lows and highs in all caps. It has changed the case of the string. But at the same time, it has also changed the string. Like what now, string 1 will contain uppercase character. If I want to convert it to lower character, back, back to lower character, as it was before, I will simply copy this line. And say over here I can call the function directly str lwr and I will pass the string one variable. So you can call directly, you can directly call a function into LR output message statement and I will change the message here lower case. So let's run this. So whatever is returned from this function str lwr will be printed in place of percentage s. So scroll down and see the uppercase string is lows and highs and all all caps and the lowercase string is lows and highs. So it has this is the uh, this is the function to change cases of of a string to uppercase or to lowercase. Let me rename this action accordingly. str lwr underscore str upr. Okay. All right. So we have still some more functions to see. str str. Okay. I'll create a new action again. Oh, I accidentally clicked on this compile. I have to click on this create new action icon. str, str underscore, and the next one is str, ser. So I will rename the action right away. Okay. So this, in this action, we will learn about str, str. Let's get to the help of this action, or is of this function. Okay, this says it returns the first occurrence of one string in another. This looks like similar to str chr, but in str chr, it used to get the first occurrence of, of a character in a string. However, in str str, it will give you first occurrence of a string in a string. Okay, there is a difference. Now let's understand the prototype. What is the prototype of this function. It says it expects string 1 and string 2. Okay? It expects two strings. The string 1 is that is searched. Okay? And string that is searched for in the first string. So this is a search string and it will be searched in string 1. Alright? So let me take some, uh, let me take an example with the help of, I'll create some variables, say t, I am paint, okay, and another variable, this is the search string, okay, this is the search. And you search in this super string. So I'll just rename it accordingly. This is the super string, and this is you have to search this keyword in super string. Okay. So what do I want to search for? I want to search for this M. Okay. 
I want to look for this uh, this string called am in this super string. Okay. So let me call. It says the string one. The string one is a super string. So I will just super string. So I will spell mistake. Super string and that is copy paste rather than typing in. This is prone to error. So, comma. I want to search for this search. Okay. Now this is going to return me something. Now what is it something? I can check in help. It gives me a character pointer. Okay. The return type is character pointer. So I need to create a variable in which I can receive what it returns. Okay, so it's character pointer, and of course it is going to give me the position. Okay, the position of the search string. So I'll say this, and I will write. Position is equal to, and I will type past it to character star so that I can receive it in position. Okay, so it will give me the position of am string. Now let me run this. But I have forgotten to print the value of position. So let's do that. LR output message. We have to write some message here. Uh, see, the position is, and I will say percentage s then position. Okay, now I will run this program. So, it says the position is saint. It has, sorry, the position is am saint. So, it has given me the string after it has found the substring into the string. So, basically, what we are doing is we are finding this string, this substring in this main string. Okay? However, I want to know the position in terms of index. Okay? I want to know the index. So since it is a character pointer, it what it will contain is the address where it finds am. Okay? And I need to get the index of where it finds M. Okay, let me explain it to you graphically. So what happens is you have a string You have I, then space, then A, then M, then S, A, and so on. Okay, I, and, and there's another block here, T. Okay. So the string is stored as shown. Okay, and each of these blocks has some memory location, for it, uh, mem memory address. For example, if this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Now, when I say pointer position, it is getting the address of, pointer position is getting the address of this location where it finds M, where it finds the string M. But since I have printed position, it is going to give me the entire um, String that follows, you know, when it finds some, uh, from where it finds the substring. Now I'm interested in knowing the index. So how will I get the index? I'll have to do some computation, some 
some processing okay so let's do that i want to get the index and the index is nothing but an integer so i will have a variable index in which i can get you know the position in numeric as numeric value now this super string the star super string is containing the starting address of the string okay so this super string star super string is pointing to 1 okay this is what star super string can uh, contain 1 and this is this is what star position contains okay i know from this diagram that the index of am is 3 but how do i get it by by getting the difference between the two addresses 3 minus 1 and adding 1 to it okay so what i can do is what i'll do is i'll get index by address of uh, address of a where a is located is bigger than the address of i so i will say position because position is a pointer it contains the address it contains the address of uh, the string where it uh, of the substring okay so we're starting of substring minus super string so this is the address and since we have to start with zero we can add one here to even out the equation okay now my index will contain the position in number from where the substring is beginning in this main string okay and i will output index index percentage d and index well so this is the way to calculate the position what as what nth position is am starting in this main string okay we know it from the diagram that it is third but how do we calculate okay i show it with other some other uh, examples so that this logic will be globally you know acceptable for any substring so let's go down and see it says the index is 3 now suppose i change this substring to third string i'm changing it to Change automatically. It should give me the index of change. It says the index is six. So let's go to this five six. Of course, it is starting at six. And if I want to increase anything. I have just created a random string, and now I want to find a substring in this main string as and, and I want to get to the index of it. So it is giving me index is thirty. so this is the way we can get to the index of uh, of a substring in main string and we can also learn from the same a uh, function whether a particular substring is a part of it or not of course when and is a part of this main string only then we get positive index so suppose i put a character here i put x y z as one string and this substring is not part of the super string So let's see what index we get. See, we get something from garbage value. Okay, minus two six six. So if you get a positive index, anything greater than zero, which means that that yes, the substring is present. Otherwise, you can uh, you can uh, conclude that. and the substring is not present in the given string 
Now this logic can be useful. Now if I want to, if I want to do some process, if index is greater than zero, then I can output message like the substring is present in superstring. Okay. Else I can say substring does not exist in, in superstring. Is not present in superstring. So now I'm I want to see whether x, y, z is a substring of the superstring or not. I'll get I will I'll get the index and on that index I'll put some logic. I'll compare it to zero to get to the substring is not, not present in superstring. Now if I want to if I if I change the substring as one, let's see what happens. It says the substring is present in superstring. So you can use this function at str str to get uh, to understand if any given string, any given substring is a part of superstring or not. The practical implementation of this function is if you want to check for extension of a file. Suppose you have uh, you have an array of all file types and you want to see if all of these file types are uh, have extension .jpg. Okay, so in that case, what you can do is you can ma you can use this function str str, and the substring over here is .jpg. Okay, so this is a practical example where you can use your str str function. The last function that we are going to discuss under string uh, manipulation is str set. So this is going to set something, set some values in the string. For example, I have a new string, say, I'll create a new string, cash new, so call it new, and I will say, hello, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is my string. With the help of this str set, str set, let's get to the help of it. Let's see. Oh, str set. It fills the string with a specific character. Okay, now let's see what we can do. We have to give a string, and the string that we have created for this for this function is new. And I want to fill all the characters in the given string with, say, 0. So I will give 0. And the resultant string I want to print. So the resultant string will be output message percentage s, percentage s, and then new. Okay? So let's run this code. The new string contains hello one two three four five. So there are ten characters hello one two three five. And let's see what it has done is it has filled all characters. It has replaced all the characters in the given string new with zero with the character that I have decided. I want to say say x. So it will fill all characters with x. Okay? This can be used to mask any any detail. Like you see your card number is sometimes masked. Only the four characters are displayed. So you can use this function to mask uh, some detail of a num uh, in a number. Okay? So well, we are done with all the functions that we had decided to discuss under string functions. And that's about it. Well, you can practice some exercises. You can find some exercises on, uh, with this module. 
and try hands on for better uh, understanding. All right. Thank you.